In this video we will show how to pressure test a non-encapsulating suit. Check the content of your test kit to find the correct components for the pressure test. If you have an older suit, fitted with the Trelchum exhaust valve, these are the parts you need for testing. The following preparation steps need to be performed prior to the actual pressure test. Check that the gloves are not obviously damaged or have holes. Check that both O-rings are in place inside the bayonet ring system. If the suit is fitted with AlphaTech regulating valve, set it on zero and put on the outside protective cap. Open the zipper fully to prepare for later. To remove outer valve cover, first rotate cover clockwise so the cover lug is 6 to 8 millimeters past the valve body stop. Carefully insert the thin blade pallet knife between the cover lug and the body stop. Then turn the valve cover anti-clockwise and remove. Carefully remove the diaphragm. Push the black Alpha Tech adapter into the valve. Tighten the retaining collar. This is how to mount the faceplate. First unscrew the wing nuts and separate the upper ring from the bottom plate. First insert the faceplate into the suit and place it under the face seal. Arrange the face seal edge so it is outside the screws and not in contact with the screws. This would risk damage the face seal when sealing. Put the ring on top and tighten the wing nuts hard. Close the zipper before starting the pressure test. There are two different methods for pressure testing a gas tight suit, the European test method ISO 17491 part 1 and the American test method ASDM F1052. The American test procedure to follow at 445. Connect the manometer to the quick connector on the faceplate. Inflate the suit with an air pistol through the valve on the faceplate to a pressure of 17.5 millibar. Then lower the pressure to 17.0 millibar using the valve on the adapter. This is the pre-test expansion pressure. Maintain this pressure for 10 minutes in order to fill out wrinkles and allow the material to settle, adding air if necessary. After 10 minutes, adjust the pressure to 16.5 millibar. This is the test pressure. Set and start the timer and wait for 6 minutes. Do not touch the suit during this time. Connect the manometer to the quick connector on the faceplate. Inflate the suit with an air pistol through the valve on the faceplate to a pressure of 125 mm water gauge. 
This is the pretest expansion pressure. Maintain this pressure for at least one minute in order to fill out wrinkles and allow the material to settle. Extend the time if air temperatures inside and outside the suit are not equal. When the pretest expansion pressure has stabilized, adjust the pressure to 100 mm water gauge. This is the test pressure. Set and start the timer and wait for 4 minutes. Do not touch the suit during this time. After the pressure test is completed, disconnect the manometer from the faceplate. Remove the faceplate. Remove the sealing plug from the exhaust valve. Ensure that the removed diaphragm is clean and free from dust. To refit, push diaphragm center over the retaining pin in the valve body. Refit the exhaust valve cover taking care not to cross thread. Screw the valve cover clockwise onto the valve body, turning the cover until there has been three clicks on the cover lug and valve body stop. Fold and pack the suit. Store it according to Alphatech storage instructions.